there were these two guys, who both suffered from being mute, but had perfect hearing. As they couldn't speak to each other, they used sign language. They became the best of friends, and met each other on a very regular basis. This went on for many years, until one of them apparently disappeared. His mate missed him terribly, and spent his time hunting high and low for his friend. After a month or so, he unexpectedly bumped into him in the high street. How the hell, are you? I haven't seen you in ages, he said in rather loud sign language. His friend spoke, I'm quite well, thank you, heavens. His friend signed, you spoke. How come? That's why, you haven't seen me for a while. I've been away at a specialist's, and, for the first time in my life, I've got a voice. Bloody hell, signed his friend, somewhat furiously. Can he do the same for me? No problem. He dug into his inside jacket pocket, pulled out a card, and gave it to his friend. Give him a call, you've nothing to lose. An appointment with the specialist was duly made, and a few days later, the mute bloke turned up for his first course of treatment. Okay, said the specialist, we'll do this one step at a time. Drop your trousers, and bend over my desk. The patient gave a long, horrified look at the doctor. It's part of the treatment. I'm not queer. The patient duly dropped his kex, but still gave the doctor a quizzical look. As he bent over the desk, the doctor grabbed an ornamental poker from the mock fireplace and forcibly inserted it in the patient's rectum. Hey, 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 hey. Screamed the patient. Very good, commented the doctor. Tomorrow, we'll continue with B.